In this intriguing and enlightening conversation, I had the pleasure of delving into the captivating realm of artificial intelligence and the enigmatic mysteries of human consciousness. Together with Tom, we embarked on a thrilling journey through a diverse range of thought-provoking topics, shedding light on the ever-evolving landscape of technology and the intricate workings of the human mind. Disclaimer, this is an original AI summary of the Impact Theory podcast with Tom Bilyeu. All of the content here, including the voices, were AI generated from the original episode. Imagine, if you will, that your mind resembles that of Neo, the iconic protagonist from The Matrix. Just as Neo questioned the very nature of reality, I ventured into the depths of our cognitive landscape, revealing its dual nature. Our minds, I explained, operate in two distinct modes, the rationale, rule-bound one, and the intuitive, good-feeling one. Drawing a parallel to Neo's journey, I painted a picture of intuition as the hidden back door to comprehending the world around us, a pathway to understanding that often eludes our conscious grasp. However, I introduced a twist, highlighting that intuition, like a misidentified fragrance, can sometimes lead us astray. It's akin to catching a scent and believing it's your favorite dish, only to discover it's an entirely different flavor. I emphasized that intuition is not an infallible compass, but rather a tool that grants us access to a deeper layer of understanding than our rational minds can offer. I introduced the term rational brittleness to encapsulate the core of our discussion. I likened our rational thinking to fragile glass, liable to shatter when confronted with the intricate complexities of the world. In contrast, intuition emerged as a bridge between our rational minds and the vast unknown, a bridge that allows us to perceive aspects of reality that defy rigid rules and logic. It's akin to catching a whiff of a fragrance that defies precise description, hinting at a world beyond our immediate comprehension. Expanding on this notion, I explained how our rational minds tend to translate the world into structured decision trees, organized mental frameworks that facilitate our understanding of the world by breaking it down into manageable components. However, this structured approach has its limitations, often causing us to overlook phenomena that don't neatly fit into our preconceived mental frameworks. To illustrate this concept, imagine a sprawling forest, each tree representing a concept or idea within our decision tree. These conceptual trees bring order and clarity to our understanding of the forest, akin to well-defined paths through the woods. Yet, hidden within the dense underbrush lie countless undiscovered wonders, uncharted territories that elude the boundaries of our neatly organized trees. These uncharted realms are the mysteries and complexities of the world that intuition can help us explore. I challenge the conventional perception of intuition as an infallible guide. I encouraged a constant questioning of our beliefs and the importance of not becoming overly attached to them. Beliefs, I suggested should be seen as tools that we can pick up, examine, and discard when they no longer serve our understanding of the world. This idea can be likened to a wardrobe filled with a diverse array of outfits. Just as you wouldn't wear the same clothes every day, you shouldn't rigidly cling to unchanging beliefs. Instead, picture your beliefs as a collection of clothing items. You select the outfit that suits the occasion shedding beliefs that no longer align with your evolving understanding. In this way, I encouraged a detached approach to beliefs, fostering the flexibility needed to adapt and refine our comprehension of the world. Our conversation then ventured into the realm of risk-taking, particularly within the context of entrepreneurship. I underscored the significance of embracing calculated risks, drawing a parallel between risk-taking and embarking on daring adventures. Imagine entrepreneurship as setting sail on a perilous voyage. Entrepreneurs navigate uncharted waters, encountering the uncertainty of unpredictable currents and storms. Similar to intrepid explorers, they risk losing their way and facing unforeseen challenges. Yet they embark on this journey with a vision, fully aware that their path may lead to treasure or tribulation. I advocated for a delicate balance between exploration and exploitation, comparing it to the daily routine of a cat. 
cats engage in playful exploration, focused hunting, and peaceful rest, adapting their activities to different phases of the day. Similarly, entrepreneurs should adjust their efforts based on the environment and objectives at hand. Startups, I emphasized, epitomize the essence of risk-taking. They resemble tiny mosquitoes challenging the might of colossal elephants, large corporations like Intel or Google. Just as mosquitoes concentrate their efforts on a single task, startups zero in on a singular idea, channeling their energy into its realization. This unwavering dedication is what empowers startups to compete with industry giants. However, I stressed that such unwavering commitment necessitates a profound belief in the chosen path. Startups can only succeed if their founders wholeheartedly believe in their mission. This steadfast commitment mirrors the mosquito's determination to prevail over the elephant, knowing that they have just one opportunity to make their mark. The conversation then delved into the concept of too big to fail, which I argued alters the incentives within a system. When an entity becomes too large to fail, its primary focus shifts from perfecting its foundations to preserving its dominance and power. This change in focus can lead to stagnation and resistance to innovation, as self-preservation takes precedence over exploration. This phenomenon can be likened to a massive ship navigating uncharted waters. The ship's crew, more concerned with protecting their colossal vessel, grows hesitant to venture into unknown territories. Instead, they prioritize safeguarding what they already possess, even if it means missing out on exciting discoveries beyond the horizon. As the conversation continued, we explored the challenges faced by physicists and the limitations of scientific paradigms. I introduced the idea that physics has evolved since becoming increasingly reliant on peer review as a benchmark of scientific validity. Peer review, I envisioned, is like a lighthouse guiding scientific exploration. Before the 1960s, this lighthouse was less prominent, allowing scientists to embark on their journeys with unbridled curiosity and a spirit of exploration. However, as the lighthouse grew brighter, the scientific community became more cautious, favoring well-established paths over daring expeditions into the unknown. This transformation is akin to an expedition team initially embarking on an exploration of a dense jungle. Fueled by curiosity, they venture deeper into the unknown, excited by the prospect of discovering uncharted territories. Yet, as the expedition progresses, their enthusiasm wanes, and they gradually rely on well-worn trails, losing the thrill of discovery. The newfound emphasis on peer review can be likened to a guidebook discouraging explorers from deviating from the established paths. We then analyze a captivating question. Could there be limits to what our human brains can comprehend and discover? I propose a future where artificial intelligence effortlessly solves fundamental physics problems, much like AlphaZero mastered the game of Go. However, our human limitations may hinder our ability to fully grasp the intricacies of these solutions. To visualize this, picture an AI as a brilliant but inebriated scholar. When sober, they possess unparalleled insights and can unravel the mysteries of the universe. Yet, as they indulge in intoxication, their cognitive abilities become impaired, limiting their comprehension. In this scenario, the universe remains as perplexing to the intoxicated scholar as it does to a human physicist. Our conversation then shifts to the future of AI where I envision AI systems synchronizing with our minds, creating empathetic and interactive avatars. These avatars, I suggest, could become as real to us as the people we know in our everyday lives. Imagine stepping into a virtual world where AI companions are as genuine as your closest friends. These avatars adapt and grow alongside you, forming deep and meaningful connections. It's akin to having lifelong friends who evolve and develop unique personalities based on your interactions. However, I issue a cautionary note against AI becoming a crutch for those struggling with real-life relationships. Instead, I envision AI serving as a coach, helping individuals enhance their social skills and find genuine connections in the physical world. Imagine AI as a personal trainer for your social life, guiding you through exercises to improve your interpersonal skills. It helps you build meaningful connections with others, much like a coach who helps you 
excel in a sport. Rather than replacing genuine relationships, AI serves as a supportive companion on your journey to mastering human interaction. In closing, we invite you to embrace intuition, calculated risk-taking, and the potential of AI to unlock new realms of understanding and human connection. We challenge you to continually question your beliefs, adapt, and envision a future where technology enriches our lives while preserving the essence of genuine human relationships. Thank you for listening to this podcast of my conversation with Tom Bilyeu. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. See you next time.